that formal business environment. And, you know, these are the environments where you're at a law firm or a big corporate office and you know that the job you're applying for is really kind of suit and tie related. What would you advise an applicant to, to wear to, to an environment like that? And what are the, some of the smaller things they should be picking up on that will, will set them apart from other applicants? Okay, that's a great question, Clark. As a matter of fact, I had a client recently, <clears throat> excuse me, that went to a, a formal interview at a law firm. So it's funny that you would mention that. And the law firm uh, was very, after we did our research, the law firm was very formal. I mean, these guys were traditional as well. So you can be formal, but you could be traditional versus being, you know, more contemporary in the looks, in the formal looks. So first of all, I'd say, make sure you do the research to know exactly where you are so you can fit in and then use some of the finer points, finer details to stand out just a little bit to be remembered. But middle of the road formal, I would definitely go with a dark wool suit. Nice. Yeah. And I know a lot of guys are saying, huh, why does he say wool? Wool right. is hot. I live in Arizona. I live in yeah. California. <laughs> but when you're in a formal environment, these guys understand detail and they understand detail to a a fabric standpoint. So you want to make sure you wear a nice wool so it's breathable. Wool is actually more breathable than a lot of these synthetic fabrics. So you want to make sure that it's a nice wool suit because it'll drape properly. It'll hold less wrinkles. It'll breathe. And you want to make sure it's dark. And I'd say dark in the sense of you want to go like a charcoal versus black. Right. Yeah, try not to do black. Black is morbid. You know, it's it, yeah. it tends to, you know, bring people down a few notches into funeral kind of yeah. attire. But you want to make sure it's a dark wool suit that has no pattern to it. Mm. You don't want well, any yeah. pinstripes, plaids or anything like that. You're not trying to draw attention to your outfit. You're trying to make sure you fit into a particular culture. Yes, yes. You want to stay away from things like pocket squares initially. Mm -hmm. If you just see that, you know, you do your research and you see that other guys are wearing pocket squares that work there, then do something minimalistic, a white, you know, linen straight across pocket square, you know, nothing stuffed floral, how you stuff it is going to matter as well, because they want to know that, you know, you're, about the details. You're not coming in too flashy. You don't want people to say, hey, look at me on my first day at work. They want to see you in the work environment, not as a problem. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) So you want to come in, middle of the road, dark suit, and you want to wear a nice tie with socks to complement. You don't want to go in there, you know, with the no-show socks, showing your ankles and things like that. If you're in a law firm or some place that's more contemporary, like, you know, um, like more of a fashion law firm, then maybe you can go no show socks. That kind sure, of thing. Sure, sure, sure. In a more traditional environment, make sure your socks complement your shirt and tie. Right. right. You want to go with a shirt that's a brighter shirt, mm. something like I'm wearing today in a brighter blue or something like Clark has on the nice white. Yeah. You want to go a, a brighter shirt without a pattern as well. You don't want it busy. You don't want your pattern in your shirt competing with the tie. I'd say if you do a tie, do a solid tie or something with a diagonal stripe in it. Yes. A minimal pattern, something that's not too busy, that's going to draw too much attention away from your entire outfit. Right. So right. That is what I would suggest. And, and finally, I'd make sure that your shoes are polished to a T. Key tip. Absolutely. For sure. Yes, indeed. Because the first thing a hiring manager does is shake your hand and yes. they look you up and down. Yeah. And if they see that the details of your shoes aren't taken care of, they may feel as though you won't take care of any of their details. Yes. So specifically. Oh, that is an absolute pro tip there. Uh, I mean, there's so many pro tips in, in what you just said there. I, you know, I like the, the little detail on, on, on the shoes, the pocket square. I, I also love how you said research, right? And that is, yes. you know, what f- throughout the entire recruitment process, I'm always advising clients to research 
And this is a key yes. area, researching the company you're applying for, what that culture is all, all about. Like you yes. said, you know, don't go anything too flashy unless, you know, the culture and the company you're applying for, you know, can, can, can stand that a little bit with, you know, the, the no sock approach that, that you talked about there, where that would be considered, okay, that's cool. This person understands, you know, the kind of fashion environment that, that we work in here. But, you know, kind of that middle of the road, like you said, take that kind of middle of a road approach with solids. Don't push the boundaries too hard. You're just going in for an interview and you're trying to make that solid first impression. Great advice. Great advice, Dwayne. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.